Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming to the Jubilee Room here at the Houses of Parliament. I'm Jo Nolan. I'm Chief Exec of Screen South, and I am very proud to be the lead organisation who are hosting uh, Accentuate on behalf and very much in partnership with the cultural agencies of the South East and the economic agencies who have made this happen. Thank you for coming today and welcome to the House of Commons. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be able to uh, sponsor this event and I'm also very proud as MP for Folkestone that the Accentuate project is based in Folkestone through uh, Screen South. I think this is a, an enormously exciting project. Um, it's at its halfway point now, sort of 500 days in, I suppose just less than 500 uh, days to go uh, to uh, 2012. 2012 really is the year when the Paralympics comes home, uh, and not, not just to England, but to the southeast of England as well, where it started uh, at Stoke Mandeville. The need for a programme like Accentuate uh, is the opportunity to create a platform linked to the Paralympics uh, that talks about um, the role of disabled people in society, um, that makes people more aware of um, the contribution they make, the market they represent, and the need for us to make, frankly, um, the South East more accessible to them. Um, Accentuate has done an enormous amount already. In the first 500 days, we've got 15 projects up and running, everything from access audits to make sure that we can be really welcoming to all our visitors and especially to those with disabilities to individual showcasing of artists and sports people and encouraging young people to work with disabled young people in competing countries so there's an enormous amount going on but we've also got an incredible amount to do in the second 500 days to make sure we really get that cultural change that accentuates all about I think it's Accentuate has made amazing progress over the last little while. It's only been 500 days, already over 180 jobs have, and employment opportunities have been created. There have been 500, over 500 volunteers, thousands of organisations have been involved in it and it's created millions of pounds for the local region, regional economy. Well, we want to see the cultural sector working together more and Accentuate is a great example of how different strands of the creative community can come together to support each other and work on one, one big project. I think it's um, almost unheard of for the entire cultural sector to work together on one initiative, but I mean, I think that's the power of 2012 in some ways. It, it is bringing together lots of people and I've noticed even in, in my own area in, in broadcasting and disability, um, all, everybody is getting interested in Paralympic sport and disability and disability culture in ways that they just weren't doing before. I think the bringing of the culture sector together on one initiative is a real aim of the Trust in terms of the projects that we fund. We've seen it particularly in this region in terms of again bringing you know, sport and art and tourism together but I think it will be a real legacy from the program that these partnerships will continue beyond the end of the of the Accentuate program. I think the unique um, offer that Accentuate has is it's inspirational. It's fired by a vision that is like never before. You know, it's fired by people taking risks and making opportunities that allow people to achieve their personal best. Uh, you know, it's looking at sports awards you know achievement alongside you know groundbreaking small activity that happens at a very local level because i never got a chance to do this before whatever it is and that's what's inspirational about accentuate accentuate's aim of creating a cultural shift is obviously absolutely central to the whole program um, and is really important because if you're not going to make a cultural shift if you're not going to make a change if you're not going to have an impact why are you doing it I think um, Accentuate's aim to create a cultural shift is absolutely bang on the money. We need a kind of tsunami effect rather than the sort of ripple effect that's taken us to where we are now. And I think Accentuate is um, really well placed to deliver that. I think one of the most important things to me is about changing people's working practices. Um, you know, people, disabled people have a lot to offer, but sometimes they're not able to access those opportunities. And, you know, I think it, 
that's the thing with Accentuate. It's it is a whole cultural shift. It's not it's not any one thing. It's a, a massive opportunity. So, I think Accentuate's aim of creating a cultural shift is certainly the right one, but it's an ambitious one. Um, and I'm not sure that we'll get there by the end of the program. But I think just the fact that our program even exists is a cultural shift in itself. There are other kind of mini cultural shifts happening all the time. And I think by the end of it, we'll be a long way towards our goal. But also that will need to be built on in the future after the 2012 Games. But it's good to have a big ambition and to work for that aim.